we're going to take a look at the idea of insecure logging. When we're actually um, working with applications on Android devices, we're able to log things into the logcat logs of our device. Now, when we log things to these logs, we have to be careful of what sort of information we're writing to them because we could potentially expose information that is sensitive. So we're going to take a look at what this would usually look like inside of an application and how we can sort of find these vulnerabilities and determine if they exist. So first, I want to explain a little bit about what this vulnerability is and why it's important. So there exists a general logging area on Android devices um, that is typically referred to as a logcat. Now, if I open up Android Studio here, you can actually see the log here. So you can see here that Consistently, information is being logged to this log, and this log is shared by uh, basically all of the applications on the actual device itself. And you can write things to the log fairly easily using some built-in functions inside of the the Android um, the Android development modules, right? So. Uh, you'll be able to actually write information to these debugging logs. Not only can you write to them, but you can also read them to see if a specific error has occurred. The reason why we don't want to log any sensitive information to this is sort of twofold. For one, as you can see here, I can easily access the log cat um, logs just by having the device plugged into my computer or by having the device running through an emulator on my computer. But more so that what's important to this is that somebody can actually create an app that can read this log cat log. That means in turns, they can read any messages that are logged to here. So if you, for instance, are logging information about a user's password or something like that, if I have an application that's like sniffing the log file on this person's device, I'll be able to see that information as well. So this gives you some context behind um, what this vulnerability really is and why it's important. So it's not really just a matter of like logging information that is sensitive, such as like an API key or something like that, that someone might see from, you know, looking at the logs. It's also a matter of um, someone, you know, a third party sort of like sniffing the logs of a random device to grab information about the user. So to give you an example of this, let's go ahead and open up our Diva application. And we'll go into insecure logging. And I'm going to demonstrate to you what exactly this could look like. So you see here and here we want to enter in our credit card information. So I'm going to put in my credit card information and press checkout. When I do this, you're going to see right here that there's an error message that gets processed. It says error while processing transaction with credit card and then it prints out the credit card number. So this is something that we want to avoid. This would be an example of insecure logging. And the reason being, again, is because if we have a third party application that's, say, sniffing this log, if they see this error message, it exposes the credit card information of the user. So this is extremely bad because obviously then people can potentially have an information disclosure. They could end up showing information to someone else that shouldn't see that information and they'll be able to compromise them with it, right? So we can take a look at the source code of this that we've decompiled to get a bit of an idea of uh, what this is actually looking like in the code, just to give you an idea of what sort of things you can look out for for this. So we have this log activity. This, this method here, log.e, is what happens when we're trying to log an error message. So there's like log.e for error. I think log.d is debug, and there's probably a few other ones that are very common. And as you can see here, it gives the actual error message and you can see it actually writes in whatever is inside of the text box of the, uh, of the credit card field. So you can see this is what the actual log message looks like. So if we're looking for these sort of instances, we can look for like log.e or log.d and these will show us where logs are being written to the actual, um, to the device log itself. And then from there, you can try triggering these or looking at what is actually being logged to determine if that information is uh, sensitive data or not. So common sensitive data would include things like passwords, uh, even usernames, uh, credit card details, obviously personal details, um, any, anything sort of related to that. Uh, API keys of the application would be a common one, um, even database table names, uh, databases in general. Um, this sort of information leakage is the kind of stuff that we want to make sure isn't happening in our application. So this would be an example of insecure logging. So this gives you an idea of what this vulnerability looks like and how to actually detect it in an application.